Hi there. Now, I'm assuming that you watched the previous video in this series and that you're familiar with these two integrals. You can see the integral of 1 over the root of x squared plus a squared integrated with respect to x where a is a constant was equal to the inverse shine of x over a plus a constant of integration. I also showed you that if you were to integrate 1 over the root of x squared minus a squared with respect to x, then the result was the inverse cosh of x over a plus a constant of integration, and it was only defined for x being greater than a. Now what I want to do in this video is just take this further, show you how we can integrate questions like these. Okay? What we will be doing is looking at the denominator here and completing the square. When you complete the square, you should be able to reduce it into a form like this when you make a substitution. Now, you might be coming to this already knowing this idea and just wanted to try these out for revision. So I'm just going to give you a short moment to uh, pause the video. When you come back, fast forward if you want to check your answers or I'm going to take you slowly through the methods. Okay? Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So don't forget to fast forward then if you want to check your answers. So how do we do these? Well, as I explained earlier, what we need to do is look in the denominator here and complete the square for both of these. And we should, with a substitution, be able to convert it into one or other of these forms. So let's take this first one x squared minus 8x plus 25. I'm assuming that you're familiar with completing the square. Okay, so if you complete the square for that, that integral is going to turn into this one. We've got all of x minus 4 squared plus an extra 9. Okay, so if you expand that out, you'll get x squared minus 8x plus 25. Okay, so now we've got that. If we make a substitution, if we let u be that x minus 4, then what we're going to have in the denominator is u squared plus 9. And if u equals x minus 4, when we make that substitution and work out what dx is, you can see that dx turns out to be du. So if we substitute back, okay, the integral that we get then is 1 over all of the root of u squared plus, and you'll notice instead of the 9, I've written 3 squared. Obviously, I could leave it as the 9, but just taking it as 3 squared. And I've also pulled out that 5 out the front of the integral. So hopefully you can see now that what I've got here is essentially this particular type of integral. And we can see that the answer is the inverse shine of x over a. So applied to this one, the answer here is going to be 5 times the inverse shine of u over 3. Okay, and then I've got that constant of integration. So if I substitute back for u as x minus 4, then our answer is going to be simply 5 times inverse shine of all of x minus 4 over 3 plus that constant of integration c. Okay, so if you did have a go at that, got that one right, well done. Now I've got another one for you, and if I've done this example, you might feel confident enough to have a go at this one. You're going to have to complete the square in this denominator here, and then it should, with a substitution, reduce down to one of these two types of integrals. Okay, so I'll leave that with you. Let's give you another short while just to pause the video if you want to have a go at that one. Okay. 
Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, I did say that you've got to complete the square for this one. Okay, and if you do complete the square, then you're going to get all of 2x plus 3 squared minus 16. When expanded out, that will give you 4x squared plus 12x minus 7. Now we can make a substitution. We can let u be the 2x plus 3. And if you let u equal 2x plus 3, then du dx is 2. Rearranging that for dx, dx is equal to a half du. And so I can make that substitution into here. And what you get is this integral. You'll notice I've pulled the 3 out. And when it comes to dx being a half du, I've pulled that half out the front here as well. OK, and then we're left with 1 over and in place of 2x plus 3, we've got the u and I've got it squared. And then we've got the minus 16. And this integral now takes on this particular type, the inverse cosh of x over a, only x this time is the u. All right, so if we substitute for that, when we do the integral, we're going to get 3 over 2 inverse cosh of u over 4 plus the constant of integration c. Remember, a squared was 16, so a would be 4 this time. I haven't written that, obviously, as 4 squared. I could have done, but just left it as minus 16 there. OK. And now all I need to do is just substitute back for that u as 2x plus 3. And if you do that, you're going to get this result. 3 over 2 inverse cosh of all of 2x plus 3 over 4, OK, plus the constant duration c. Now, you might be asked, what range of values is this defined for? And if you are, remember up here, x had to be greater than a. So for this to be true, then in place of x, we have now 2x plus 3, and 2x plus 3 has got to be greater than 4. So when it comes to that validity there, 2x plus 3 has got to be greater than 4, so therefore x has to be greater than a half. Okay, just in case you ask that question. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then of how to handle these types of integrals. And so if you did find that useful, do give us a like. And as usual, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, get updates of anything that I upload. And just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again in another video. Bye for now.